On this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we elevate our hiking experience in the Rocky Mountains to see gorges, glacial lakes, mountain views, and even rock scramble up a waterfall. Stick around for this epic hike and be sure to give a like and subscribe. Hey fellow expeditionists, we are at Glacier Gorge at Rocky Mountain National Park. That's right, we are in the Bear Lake region and we are going to be hiking one of Rocky Mountain's most scenic hikes all the way up to Sky Pond. In my research for best hikes in the Rocky Mountain National Park, one particular trail stood out as it offers multiple destinations that each would be a great adventure on their own. Highlights include Alberta Falls, Lock Vale, Timberline Falls, Lake of Glass, and finally Sky Pond, which sits at an elevation of 10,900 feet. The round trip hike comes in at just under 10 miles. How's that view, catfish? Well, this place is like a photographer's dream. Every turn on the trail is a new place worthy of photo and video. So we uh, dispersed camp last night in the Roosevelt National Forest. You know, we got up at 4 a.m. We arrived at the trailhead today at 5.30 a.m. And the Glacier Gorge Trailhead parking already was so full, there's only two spots left when we arrived. So a busy, busy place, very popular area, lots of great trails, and I can see why. We have made it to the lock. We're going to check it out before moving on. Isn't that beautiful?
Yeah, wow. What do you think the hike so far, Catfish? It's pretty cool. It's been really cool, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been pretty challenging too, huh? It has been. Yeah, but man, look at these views. So worth it. Yeah. The trail to get to the sky pond itself is not marked really at all. So we're just kind of winging it, trying to get to the other side. Yeah, just got confirmation that we are on the right route, so. Man, what scenery. What scenery to get lost in if you did, huh? Hey, look ahead. This guy is saying, you shall not pass. He cares about us. Well, Mr. Marmot, we're coming around you. Hi there. He's not too scared at all, is he? Well, here we are, catfish. We made it. We made it to Sky Pond. High five. Yeah, buddy. Whew, what an adventure, huh? Yes. I just think technically it's only halfway done because we still have to go all the way back. Nine thirty a.m. So it took us uh, about just under three and a half hours to hike from the trailhead up here to Sky Pond. That's with quite a few little breaks because, yeah, I get tired. <laughs> and of course, also waiting in line and uh, the waterfall climb we had to do. Quite a few people there going up and down. So pretty proud of us, catfish, that we we managed this. Well, it is time for us to start heading back down from Sky Pond all the way back. The cool thing about going down on these kind of hikes is now all the views that were behind you open up in front of you. There you have it folks, our little adventure today all the way up to Sky Pond here in Rocky Mountain National Park. Catfish, what did you think of today's adventure? I found the mountain views pretty interesting. Climbing up kind of reminded me of Paintbrush Canyon at Grand Tetons. Right, there's definitely a lot of similarities and I think that's why I loved this hike so much. It encompassed some of the elements that we've loved so much from past hikes in Grand Tetons and Yosemite, being surrounded by these tall mountains, hiking along these rushing, roaring mountain streams, and then of course the mountain lakes are just absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. It's probably some of the best scenery that we've ever got to hike through. Loved it, and of course it was challenging too. Climbing up that waterfall was interesting, wasn't it? It sure was. Uh, we've done some rock scrambles before, but never on a waterfall. That was pretty cool. Alright, well, we're on to the next adventure, so until next, next time, peace out. out.